So hello and welcome back to Skumar D Coins and Banknotes. This is Glenn. Today we're looking at the coins of Bangladesh. So as you can see, I have various denominations that were issued by the Bangladesh government. And well, it doesn't include the current issue which has the portrait of this guy here. So we'll talk about him in another video. So the coins of Bangladesh, uh, these don't have people on them or any individual that is a personality or well-known. All of them have the coat of arms of Bangladesh on the obverse side. So this is the front of the coin. The denomination is on the back of the coin. And this has a water lily on water with uh, wheat on the side and it has stars and this little birdie thing at the top. Uh, I didn't even look up the coat of arms, so obviously it is something, but you know, I'll look at it later. So, all of these coins are in base metal. Bangladesh has only issued commemorative coins in silver, and being base metal, they're not even so. I, this is the only copper nickel one I do have. What do you have ones? Uh, steel or nickel plated steel as well as aluminium so the smallest denomination that i have is the five poisha and the currency is one taka equals a hundred poisha so pretty much similar to most other currencies around the world so i don't have the one poisha which is a single year issue 1974 and the five ten uh, 25 which is here, 50 Poisha, uh, all started to be issued in uh, 1973. And they replaced the Pakistani rupee, which is in circulation at the time. So we'll go for each denomination and we'll have a look. So the smallest coin that I have is the 5 Poisha. And this is a square aluminium coin, uh, similar in shape to the Indian rupee of a 5 Pesa that was circulated. So you notice that all these coins, uh, they follow the Indian rupee standard uh, until the actual, uh, even the current system uh, has coins similar in size to the Indian rupee. So we have the FAO issue. So this was issued between 1974 and 75. And it's similar to the 1973-74, except it has an inscription down the bottom. And it's... 1.4 grams of aluminium it's still legal tender but it can't buy anything you need uh, it's like 0 0.0007 of a cent so you need at least ooh, i would say 30 of them to make one australian cent and we have uh a plow which you know a lot of Bangladeshis do still use because a lot of it's not mechanized. And here we have a plow as well as a tractor, so to decide to put modern agriculture. In. And we have a cog going around as well. We have the denomination in Bangladeshi, a date, so the date system they use is just the Western system. So this date here is just 1974. So they don't put the Islamic date on the actual coins. This one is supposedly minted in Berlin, has a mintage of 5 million, which is the highest for the series. Although in 1978 79, there is no mintage figures. And the next coin, as you can see, they changed the way the coin is aligned. So instead of it being diamond, now it's just square. And this coin here we have is dated 1994. So it was the last year of issue of this denomination. And obviously there is no mintage figures for 94. But all the other mintage figures like 1977, 90 million. Uh, 1979, 120 million. So obviously uh, these coins are not scarce. And if we turn them over, once again, we just have uh, the coat of arms of, uh, oh, the emblem of Bangladesh, which is on all of these coins. Okay, the next denomination we have is scallop shaped. And I don't have the first year of issue, 73, 74 series. I do have the 
74, 79, FAO. And then we have the last series. So we have a seven. So this was issued in 77 to 80. It's a two gram coin. And 1983 to 94 as a 1.4 gram coin. So the FAO issue is a tractor. Has plants, agricultural produce, because so Bangladesh, like a lot of our countries, issuing more uh, coins that are supposed to advertise to produce more food. And this one is date system is up here. It's 1974. Has a mintage of uh, five million, but most of the coins should be dated 1978, which for 141 million. 1979, yeah, I have no idea what the mintage figures for that coin is. And if we look at this coin, uh, we need to find the date system, which is here and here. So that should be 1977. If my reading is correct, yeah, it has a mintage of 48 million, so it shouldn't be too hard to get. But if you look on eBay, Bangladeshi coins are just expensive anyway. Even though this one had a mintage of a uh, 48 million, out of all the denominations issued uh, 40, uh, with these dates, uh, 1980 seems to be the highest, 200 million. So this thing is the lowest minted 10 Porsche for this type of design. Yep, 1983, 142 million, 1984, 57 million. But still, you'd be paying probably up to five dollars for uh, any one of these coins. If you turn it over, it has the emblem of Bangladesh, and this style reminds me of the Indian coins in the stylization. So the next denomination is twenty-five Porsche, so equivalent. So you need four of these to equal one Tucker. So I don't have the first issue of 1973. This is the 1974-79 issue. And this one, the lion, a tiger on it, not lion. It's the 1977-79. And the second issue is the FAO, considering it has fish and it has fruit. And also, yeah, it's made of stainless steel. Um, it has, that's a, Ruhi fish, a type of carp, there's an egg, two bananas, uh, and a squash. And it just says Bangladesh 1974 food for all. And the denomination is down below. And the mintage figures for this one, yeah, they're also quite low. The coin I have, it's also like uh, the 10 Porsche is 1974, a mintage of 5 million. And once again, 1978 with 66 million seems to be the highest minted for this design. So in seven, 1977, they issued the one with the uh, tiger on it. So this is a 2.65 grams. And these both, you're probably paying, I don't know, three to five dollars per coin. And most of the dates that we issue for this coin have mintage figures. And the coin I have is dated. I need to find the actual date. So, so we have nineteen ninety one, and the mintage of that is two hundred fifty million. It's obviously a very high minted coin. Once again, down below we have the denomination, and on the front of the coin, we just have the emblem. And that's rated. That's rated as well. So for the 50 pusher, I only have uh, the one coin. And it comes in two designs. But also comes in two different uh, edgings as well. So this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sided for the inside of the coin. But it's still also slightly eight sided as well as you go around it so 1973 had a bird on it 
1977 they issued these coins with this design FAO issue and this one is a 2001 so is issued afterwards and that has a mintage of 50 million and you should be able to pick this up for less than five dollars but as I said before Bangladeshi coins are expensive so in 1977, they issued the one taka coin, and they also issued the one taka banknote at the same time. So the first coin issued in copper and nickel, you can tell by the uh, color of the actual coin. So that's copper and nickel. This is aluminium or brass, should I say? Uh, and this is a uh, steel or nickel plated steel. Actually, no, I think it's just steel. Getting a bit cheap on their actual metals. So between 1977-92, they didn't issue any one tuck of coin. This one is dated 1975, minted to two million, and uh, it probably costs at least ten dollars. What we have, we we just have the one design, so it has a family, and it represents family planning. So we just have one tucker, and this says family planning, food for all. And this coin here is the second issue. Uh, the coin I have is dated uh, 1993. There is no mintage figures for that. So 92, 93, 95 with a year. And then they changed the coin to brass for some reason. Maybe because people were getting confused uh, with the two tucker that they issued later on. Because the size is actually pretty similar. And if you're illiterate, you're going to get confused. So... This one's dated 1996, and there's some issues like 97, 98 that don't seem to have been minted, and uh, there is no mintage figures. In 2001, 2007, they issued this coin, and then in 2010, they changed the actual coin to a smaller one that they currently use. And Bangladesh hasn't issued any coin since 2014. So this one is dated 2002. And these ones are probably the easiest to get of all the uh, Bangladeshi coins. Obviously this one's going to be expensive. These ones are probably about $5 each. Okay, so in 2004, they issued a two taka coin. And that only has uh, a round coin made out of stainless steel. Oh, and it only has two years of issue, 94 and 98. Each with... 200 million and this represents education so every male and female reading the book and this one's dated uh, 2004 and on the back it's not read it we just have the emblem of Bangladesh and has two tucker in English so you might be able to get this coin in circulation but currently uh, well, I don't have it with me, but they issue a different coin of two tucker, and then they had the five tucker, which looks pretty similar in size to the two tucker, but it is just it's a twelve-sided coin, like the Australian fifty cent, and it has a bridge on it. So this uh, was the coin that was in circulation, first issued in nineteen ninety-four. And last issued in 2008. And there is no mintage figures for these coins. But you're probably paying about 4 or $5 for one of these. And top of, Okay, so this is... Um, Jamai Multiple Purpose... No, uh, Jamuni. Jamuna. Sorry, I butchered that. Multiple Purpose Bridge, which is currently known as... Benga Bandu Bridge. Its length is 5.63 kilometers over the Padma River. And it's apparently the sixth longest bridge in South Asia. So there's probably longer bridges around the world. In the sixth, uh, I'm not surprised. Bangladesh does have a lot of rivers because it's in a delta system. So, you'd need a lot of rivers to actually span uh, the Ganges River and all the tributaries that come across it. 
And on the back we have the coat of arms or the emblem. I don't care what you actually call it. And it just says Bangladesh Bank down below. So, uh, basically, this is all the currency of Bangladesh that I have. I just find the country pretty interesting, although pretty poor. They do have a problem with uh, people being locked in buildings and then the buildings burning down. So currently, they use the 1, 2, and 5 Tucker, and it has a portrait of uh, National, uh, Sheikh Majibur Rahman. So that is the only guy to actually appear on the coins, and I believe he was one of the leaders of independence of Bangladesh. Anyway, these ones are very common. You know, you're talking about five to six hundred million of these coins minted. So I'm not surprised they haven't issued any coins for uh, 10 years. Anyway, thank you very much. Bit of a long video. Let me know what coin is your favourite. Thank you and goodbye.